Okay, um, so I'm pretty much done with this. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because I don't get to do that <laughs> like in the classroom. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about what I used for this. I might do a little more to it to tweak it, but um, but just to give you an example of stuff that I used, um, old batteries, uh, keys, these were pine cones that I grabbed out of my backyard, um, beads from discarded jewelry that I no longer need, um, cut up masks, cut up phone cords, uh, let's see, steel wool to um, portray my frizzy hair and peppercorns. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, just tin foil. And so anyway, you get the point. And um, I think the important thing is to focus on the large value shapes, the large color and value shapes, instead of trying too hard to get the detail because what happens is that your eye, you know, it's a gestalt thing. Your eye will fill in the blanks. Um, gestalt is usually a design term, term that means, um, you know, it's a way that people kind of put together um, images when something is not entirely there. If you don't give the viewer all the information, the viewer will make up the rest themselves. And so... That's kind of how Gestalt works in art, but um, anyway, this is uh, pretty wonky. And so you can see that, you know, it, had I had, um, had I been able to do a really large format piece, yeah, I could have made it more detailed, like those examples that I showed you, Vic Muniz, Vic Muniz's um, artwork basically fills up the bottom part of his garage. They're humongous. They're like 20 by 20 feet. So this is pretty small. It's hard to get all the little tiny components in there, but I just focused on, you know, the large color shapes, the large value shapes. And so um, that's it. Uh, you know, so just have fun with this. Don't stress over it. You know, make it a project. Be a kid and make it a project. That's fun. And that's what I have to say. Okay. Bye.